for He's coming sure. back. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get to the buzz. If you're thinking about what to have for dinner or maybe an afternoon snack, we have just the answer for you. Always thinking about it. Tia Davidson joins us now with the buzz. Always a good time to have a sandwich. Happy Friday, ladies, yes. and to you too. We're celebrating because today, of course, is National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. Nobody really knows exactly when this comfort food was invented, but cooked bread and cheese been around since ancient times. The version we all know and love came about, though, in the 1920s. Back then, it was usually served as an open face sandwich. But there's really no right or wrong way to make grilled cheese, and that's part of the reason why they remain so popular today. I oh, love man. grilled cheese. Yeah, that's oh, I know. really good right oh, now. With some <laughs> soup, like with some tomato soup. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple of pieces of bacon, because bacon is always good. Yeah, inside of there. Can't go a lot of people like tomato on it. I, yeah. I like just. Just, just the, the plain, cheese, but like mm -hmm. I, I think all the stuff you can add on sounds good too. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I do too. Mm -hmm. It's so funny the timing of this. I just and maybe that's why they made this video. I was watching a video that BuzzFeed put out uh -huh. earlier this week. Uh -huh. They melted 29 different kinds of cheese all together oh. and then made a grilled cheese with it. And they put mm. all these cheeses together that were so different that you were like, this is going to be terrible. And even the girls that did it were like, this is going to be awful. They were. It was delicious. delicious. Oh yeah. All yeah. cheese is good. I know. I was like, 29 oh. kinds. Favorite do it. cheese though. I love Havarti mm, cheese. Okay. I know that's kind of random. I'm not, but I I'm love not actually a huge cheese eater, but if <gasps> right. I'm going to have, but if I'm going to have a grilled cheese, I would just want like cheddar. Cheddar, yeah, beer, craft like that. Yeah. Even a craft single <laughs> on some white bread. I know. And, well, I'll tell you what, That'd there is this cheese spread to die for. It's, it's uh -huh. um, a garlic cheese kind of spread that you can find. It's a locally made, it's called Noni's. Mm. Oh, some good stuff. You would think putting it with like apples or with, uh, or with carrots or something yeah. wouldn't be. That's some good stuff right okay. there. That so you might want to try that. Okay. All right. Well, most fishermen have a pretty good fish story or two. This South Carolina man is no different. Larry Westmoreland has caught plenty of fish in his 70 years, but he will be hard pressed to top this one. You see, he reeled in Saturday night. This big old fish there on Lake Kiowee in the upstate of South Carolina. Westmoreland caught this 89 pound catfish using his very own secret bait. I don't even think I want to know what it is. It took him though about 20 minutes to land that monster catch. He says he was able to get the majority of the 49 inch long fish into his net, but it took several attempts to actually get the fish in the boat and Oh my oh. my, what kind and of fish he's eating for days. sandwiches can you get out of that? I know, I'm oh, no. like, we're going to a fish fry. Yes, yeah, right. Like. I know. <laughs> it is Friday after all. And, and that's you right. Got, if you're Catholic, you like to have fish on Friday. Yes. All, right. all right, and Amazon employees from all around the globe listening to what you say to Alexa. According to a Bloomberg report, Amazon uses voice recordings to improve Alexa's functionality as well as help develop new features. Now, once the audio clips are heard, they will be transcribed annotated, then fed back into the software. According to Amazon, it takes the security and privacy of its customers' personal information seriously and only annotates an extremely small sample of Alexa voice recordings. I don't know about oh, that. No. Still, I know. It's still a little bit. It's still. Yeah. That's Big Brother listening. It yeah. is. Those I devices mean, are so wonderful in so many ways, but I always still have that little yeah, weird feeling. I would, I, we don't own one, and I yeah. don't think I'd want one. Yeah. I mean. I don't feel super secretive or anything, but that's just kind of weird. But yeah, you don't yeah. want anybody listening. I think listen to us. Oh, I think so I do too. too. I do too. I, I think they ads randomly do. pop up, especially on Instagram. Yes. Of something that I've never Googled, never searched, but maybe something that was mentioned. Discussed, yeah, around but, your phone. Yeah, and let then you it do it. Then all up. of a sudden it shows right up. It's weird. And there you go. And that's the buzz. All right, Dan, thanks. <laughs> all right.